Y'all, this is time for the Office UK S2E3 Party. It's the title. Now, uh, yeah. Office Parties. What do we think about them? Oh, their office parties to me are like landmines. They're yeah. like landmine field. Don't go too crazy because you're still in the office. Right, you're still around your coworkers. Yeah, so around your coworkers. So you have to be. It's like this this weird atmosphere at an office party, unless you work for a place that's just massive. Right. If you work for a massive place, then it's a great time because you're never gonna see these people again. Right. It could blend in if something goes wrong. I remember for this show, it was a couple episodes ago where they were at that pub quiz and everything just kind of evolved into yes. debauchery and all of those things I, that you fear uh your co-worker seeing and look look what happened to the peep show's office party mark That's got all, her pregnant so <laughs> that's part of the reason why we're so apprehensive about making friends with people in the office in the united states white collar uh places it is not this fun time I mean, i've had good times at office parties um i'm always like oh my surroundings because i don't trust co-workers and it should do or, like you know, cutthroat. Yeah, it's like don't let your guard down. Someone's ready to stab you in the back. Pretty That's much, kind of how this life is over here. Yeah, here it yeah. is 100% like that. Yeah. Well, let's see how it is on uh, this side of things. Let's do it, man. Three, two, one. Um, he's so much as expensive. And yours, Sergio Giorgini. And your shoes as well. Heel on them. We sell for ten. Yep. God, he is so bothered by this new manager. <laughs> oh, yeah. He does it's not. Impossible. He, well, right. It should have been him. And remember that little, those little, that little quip that we found out? Because of his health, he didn't get it. And so this guy just beat him. And that's, yeah. oh, that's so cringe. It's I'm like, oh, angry. God, I'm not enviable at all. People see me and they see the suit. And they go, you're not fooling anyone. They know I'm rock and roll through and through. But old thing, fast, die young. Not my way. Live fast, sure, live too bloody fast sometimes. But uh, die young, die old. That's the way. I'm not orthodox. I don't live by the rules. And if there's one other person who's influenced me in that way, I think someone who is a maverick, someone who does that to the system, then it's he in both them. Because beefy will happily say that's what i think of your selection policy yes i've hit the odd copper yes i've enjoyed the old doobie but will you piss off and leave me alone i'm walking to john o'groats for some spastics no, what? Real <laughs> i don't understand that at all that was like different language you could have just been speaking something like klingon i did not understand that at all that's crazy that's the language of try hard uh, trying to be more than who you actually are yeah. trying to be cool man and just <laughs> totally a, failing. Live fast, but die old. I'm just <laughs> like, what? You don't get both. You don't get both. It's David Brent. What do you expect? Yeah. Very true. Organizing stuff out there. Just been. This looks a bit chaotic, but it's all. Assimilating, re assimilating, and. Uh, assimilating what? Just taking on people and putting no, them into. Just categorizing. <clears throat> Not in any sort of like, label me, but uh, mm. just a sure vibe. Oh my oh. god, a leather basque! Oh. Fantastic! Ooh. I've always wanted one of these actually, a leather basque. Yeah. Cheers, guys! Well, Thank you. Should I try it on? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 you have to take it back. Happy birthday! Oh my god! <laughs> it's it's disgusting! disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the face. <laughs> Look at the touch in that. Yeah. Why? Look at this. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. You don't know where that's been, mate? Well, I do know where it's been. It's been in a box, oh Gary. No, right. Right. the factory. You don't know what the goes factory. on. The factory. You've got your amazing mind again. In my experience, Women who work in factories are slappers, so I don't know what's... Oh, what? Thank you, everybody, for my lovely presents. They're malleable. What? Women that work in factories are what? Slappers. Crazy. Hold on. This has to be some sort of slang here. Well, I'm going to yeah. look this up. Slapper. Meaning. It's an offensive word for women who thought to have a lot of... Uh, so, what we would say, a hoe. Or, oh, got it. Okay. Yep. No. And... and that last scene is a stark difference between UK and US office protocol or just culture in general. Not protocol. That's a completely different thing. But culture is uh, he gives you, someone it, in the office a dildo. That is absolutely hilarious. But my God, just if you give someone that here, just walk yourself to the HR department. 
just like walk in. I'm sitting here. Why are you here? We didn't call you. You will. <laughs> so, Pretty much. Oh, oh man. And you know that that's what I like really. I don't like people coming here with uh, oh we did it this way, we did it that way. I just want to go do it this way if you like. If you don't, team playing. Te yeah. What I call it, team individuality. It's like a management style again. Guilty, unorthodox, sue me. But you know, what, <sighs> you, nothing ever changes Does by staying the same. Quite literally. Hi guys. You like that, don't you? What? Is that because it looks like. It's identical. Sure. Well, mine's not that size, it's very, very tiny, but it is made of plastic. Mine's massive and it ain't made of plastic. I dare to go and put it in Ben's office. <laughs> Why? It's a dare. Yeah, I know, but he's, he's having a meeting with Neil, I can't. Well, that's kind of the challenge, mate. Well, why would I do that? Because it would make me laugh. I'll do it, it's all right. Look, all you're going to do is just go in there and, and hide it in there somewhere, that's all. Just hide it, simple. It couldn't be easier. Straightforward. Come in. I'm sorry to interrupt. I just wondered if... That's embarrassing. I've completely forgotten what I came in for. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, it's gone. Come on, Tim. Oh. Get it back. No, too really late night. No, sorry, it's totally gone. Don't what? worry about it. I'm holding your folder. Sorry. It's fine. I just... No, it's gone. BSC. Don't worry, come back. No more beef. <laughs> you're here. Well, there's something you can do for me. My lot haven't even been down to the warehouse yet. Huh? It'd be. Would you mind taking them down? Just not sure. for There's not a lot of point. There's not well, a lot to see. You know, yeah. with one organisation, I think it'd be sure. a good idea for everyone to, to know everyone else. If you just tell Glenn I said it's okay. Well, I'll right. tell, tell Taffy that I said it was okay and that he'll agree with me. But it just sort That's of great. Us. Thanks. Right. Rex. Sorry, that, that was, was brilliant. That was brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see where it went? It went under the folder. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, I just want to make an inquiry. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, y'all are too much. It's going to be funny because we know that we know that he can't take a joke. Right. He dishes them out and they're so awkward and cringe, but he we know that he's going to flip lose his shit when he finds the dildo in his office cuz it's going <laughs> to probably be at the worst time ever. It's gonna be beautiful once it uh, once it comes to fruition. <laughs> once the, the reveal comes. Oh man, I could have found a better way of saying that. By the yeah, way, reveal it's, comes. It's, it's all right. It's yeah. I, I, I'm with you. I, I got gotcha. you. You can't beat a bit of bully. <laughs> Bullseye. Here they are, lighty lads. There you go. Blue shoe. Fashion. Do you want to go up to the hockey? Let Tony look after you. Oh dear. Nothing in this game for two in a bed. <laughs> Shit flights on those, aren't they? No wonder. Oh, a bit of fuddy daddy. Darts never. A couple of young lads. I'm not young, 29. Oh, over the hill. <laughs> how old do you say I was if you didn't know me? 40? No. How old do you think I look? Not. I'm 39. Most people think I look about 30. So. Definitely not. Oh, you're calling no. them liars? Maybe. What do you think? Well, between 30 and 40. Yes. More honest. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, back to your point of how he has no sense of humor, uh, for one. And for two, y'all comment below. If you didn't know our ages, how old do you think we would be? Yes, th that's a great question. Yeah. I'm interested. Because I yeah. feel 80, and sometimes I look dead. So <laughs> I feel like a piece of history. So Now, guys, we're about to enter a warehouse environment. Now, I must warn you that some of the people in here will be working class. So... Uh, <laughs> It may be us, cleavage. So <laughs> just uh, find a partner, Lauren, hold hands. Don't talk to anyone, though. Are you chewing? Right, let's go. This is the, the hub of the operation. Working hard, as usual. Got it? Well, the strippers have arrived. <laughs> hey! Well, I'll tell you what, we need five minutes, but... Yes, it's Jay's dad. And of course he would say something like that. Of course. He's very typecasted. On par. He hasn't changed much. I feel like it's a great role that he just parallels throughout what all role, these series. What role do I play? The same one you've been playing, bro. Got it. No touching. Always knew you were Ben. Wait, don't worry. You should get the old milkers out for a tenner. Oh shit. <laughs> what? what? Wow. Boyland. You won't be seeing them tonight. That's right. I got cable. Cool. I'm going to show you this uh, aisle first. Bender. No. Get lost, you cheeky bastard. No. David, Betsy's Ray and Jude. And Jude, sorry, I've forgotten where you're from. Uh, from Cooper and Webb Consultants. Who's Cooper and who's Webb? Neither of us. They get that all the time, do you? No. Anyway, best things first. Any more mail? Mr. D. Brent. That's me. <laughs> Come through. 
is he doing? Oh my god. He's gonna find the effing. Oh my god. Must just always. Shoot. Well, are you aware of what we do? No. Basically, we organize training days for corporations and individuals who pay to get an advantage in business. But it's, it's not just telling them boring facts. We also have business experts who train them how to act, how to walk into a room, say, I'm the guy you're going to do business with. I'm going to stop me there. I really don't need anything like that. I do all my own in-house training. No, no, sorry. I'm not trying to get your business. We'd very much like you to be one of our experts. Good choice. Why did you do swing by here in the first place? Well, we'd heard a lot of good things about Wernham Hogg. Sure. Um, we also got your name from a guy we work with called Andy Hitchcock. Oh, God. Oh, no, cockles. Cocky. The big cock. Next time you're talking to him, just ask him if he got the grass stains out of his trousers. Not in front of his wife, because... <laughs> what was... Oh. What sort of tip would you want me on, Forrest? We're looking for people who are dynamic, but who are also good communicators. Sure. It's, uh, it's a corporate message, but obviously we're after people who can communicate with young people, uh, with 20-somethings. <laughs> <laughs> you don't see heels like those much nowadays. You can still find them. What sort of bunts would I be looking at? Sorry? Well, to start with... Bunsen burner. Bunsen burner. Nice little earner. Hence the bunts. He's trying to be cockney. Well, what to begin with, we put you on about 300 pounds. Just for an hour's work. Well, no, you'd only talk for about 15 minutes. <laughs> 15 minutes? That's 1,200 pounds an hour, pro rata. That's the sort of fee I'll be looking at for this, so... When would you want to do it? Well, soon. Count me in. Thank you. So, sorry, so, do you have a diary? We could make some dates absolute now. Absolutely more. <laughs> it's a dildo. Is it yours? <laughs> well, I don't know. Sorry, this is an example of problems. Let's have a look. Everybody, what am I doing in there with a dildo? <laughs> she says it's not hers, and I for one believe her. So, whose is it? Here right. we go. What's it doing in there? It was a birthday present, but I don't know what it's doing in there. Okay. So, good armless fun, but is it today, but many happy returns. But what have we learnt from this? Not to leave your dildo lying around. Don't let it out of your sight, because it can wind up anywhere. And it's... Oh, what's that? <laughs> Just... No! No, no! Sorry, Ev. How'd you... Oh, it's worse. What what'd you do when that happens? Well, you probably... Just can you get that, make sure that gets back to... Good job. We were actually in the middle of some. So, uh... <laughs> wow. Yeah. I love... Oh, my God. That was the most professional way of of taking that joke. I didn't know it was going to go that way. But if there's a, a rule book on what to do when you find a dildo in your office, take notes. Yes. That is awesome. That's what he just, did was great, dude. That should be in every wow. single HR training video is... All right, who who left this in here? And in America, someone would walk out and be like, "All right, who did this?" But David Brandt was very calm, cool, and collected about it. Props to him. Com completely handled it like a pro. <laughs> <laughs> the jokes oh, just man. write themselves yeah. here. We want our dick back. <laughs> That's right. I remember that chant. Oh, oh, God. One of the videos that made this channel. Yep. You've got to smuggle this somewhere about your person. <laughs> and I'm not saying anything about I'll it. You've got what, to, what does that mean about you your person? person? You've got to. Wait, if you want to see bravery, come to me. I'll do a day. Bravery. Come on. All right. All right. I'm going to phone Dave. No. I'm going to write things for you to say. Can I come here? And then I'm going to phone David, and I want you to say exactly what I write down. No way. You make me sound like a bender. No. Look, I, I swear I won't. It'll just no be, way, no. It'll just be funny things. It'll come out cute. I'm, I'm not going to say anything Gareth. that makes me sound like a bender. Just... Hello. Hi, it's Gareth. Hi, I'm in a meeting at the moment, Gareth. Just going to say you a few things. All right. You're, you're doing a great job. Just the employee saying what a superb job I'm doing. No. Is that it? No, I like your little beard. Well, what is he okay. doing? Is that it? One more thing. What? You should wear tighter trousers. Oh, can I give you a call back? Yeah, bye. You should wear tighter trousers. Wow. We would, but... Uh, oh, my God. What is this? I this has to be this one is... of the funniest bit episodes yet. This is great, man. This is... Hey, I love office pranks, man. This Hell, is, yeah. This is it, top tier. It makes the day go a yep. little bit quicker. <laughs> <laughs> it was genius. 
genius. Thank you. <laughs> genius. <laughs> Just so <Brilliant>. weird. <laughs> We have a website with profiles of all our speakers on them. Would you mind answering a few questions? No, go for it. If you could have a working lunch with anyone, living or dead, who would it be? Martin Luther King and the Dalai Lama and Rory Bremner. Just to... Cos they'd get a bit heavy, couldn't they? Two of them. And he'd lighten things up. Probably do impressions of them. And me. <laughs> What's your biggest disappointment? Alton Towers. Oh. I've never been. It's rubbish. Next. Oh, yeah. Do you want to do practical jokes? I'm trying to do some work now. I should be giving them a rest. Ooh, I've got some. Really? <laughs> what you got? Oh, I used to do low... What were they? <laughs> we could think of some. We could think of some. Some new some. ones. Yeah, let's think of some good ones. For who? For... What about Gareth? Possibly. It's about time he had some tricks <laughs> played with him, I think. What would your motto be? Well, I've noticed that some bosses are intimidated by training their staff up too well. They don't... I don't mind it. I actually like my staff to be better than me. That way, keeps me on my toes. So, my motto would be, be careful, because there's always someone ready to step into your shoes and do your job better than you. Well, that's a big Don't. motto there, bud. That's profound. I'm gluing the phone in the name of fun. He will hate you. Hello. There you go. You cooked it. Get over the top, isn't it? How much that cost you? We're paying you too much. <laughs> I made it myself. You made it yourself? Oh, a bit sweet, isn't it? Too rich. I prefer mm. a flan. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Every time it does, it's just... So we've got you in a meeting. I just have a, just a meeting. So there's two people in there. They're business people. And they're quite important, actually. And they've got a business. And they, uh, they arrange sort of seminars, management training seminars, where they get expert speakers to come and John Harvey Jones type figures. They've asked me. So, yeah, it's perfect for me, though, because not only do I know about that sort of stuff, I've got sort of natural authority people, but uh, I'm an all well entertainer, so they've those qualities. Do you think it's a scam? Uh, keep it on your app. It could possibly be a scam. I'm not, I, I didn't put that together, but now that you say it out loud. I, I feel like it could be, but okay, cool. Just never trust anyone. That's my issue. Yeah, you barely trust me, so. Man. <laughs> hey, see those two. Oh, here we go. Is that you? Yeah. You're funny. Could have had my eye out. <laughs> Hello, guys, Keenan. Cock! Thank you. Oh, glorious. Oh, my. Did you see that? He still picked it up. Is that Did you? you? See it? <laughs> we glued it. <laughs> that lights my God. Oh, oh come so, on. Yes. Just walk I'm away, lady. Seriously. You're in, I'm just so busy at the moment. What are we talking about? What are we talking about? Uh, we're just trying to involve this chap in motivation. Oh, yeah. after you've asked me, it's a bit rude, rude, isn't it? A bit rude? Well, well, no, we'd use both of you for different seminars. I can do them both. Well, I, do I can't them anyway. can't do it anyway. No. Well, can I have your car just in case? No point, is there? Well, we might be able to persuade well, him. Well, he said no once. If he goes back on that, he's weak, isn't it? So... Oh, anyway, we ought to be going. Yes, it was. It's agreed. We'll be in touch, David. Nice to meet you, Ray. Bye, Okay. Oh, so you're definitely not doing it, you said no, so... I thought you were trying to worm your way in. No, I'm not interested. Well, in beneath yeah. you, is it? No, I just don't think you can teach people that sort of thing. Either you can do it or you can't. Well, you know? depends who the guru is, so... Beware of false prophets. <laughs> well, that's my, my point, isn't it? It's not all about prophets, so... I meant <laughs> prophets, I meant, as in... I meant, I meant. If only my auntie had bollocks, she'd be my uncle. Ugh! <sighs> David Brent. <laughs> oh man! All right, David so he Brent. just he just quotable, man. He's just quotable. <laughs> what do you say? My aunt had basically if she, if she had balls, she'd be my uncle. Put that on a shirt and sell it. This is too good, man. Like I said, this is the best one yet. I think so, man. Mm -hmm. I think so. Every time we won. Pop stars. Pop stars. I'm at pop stars. Right. Do you know how to play? Yeah, I know how to play. Pop no, I don't talk about my love life. For a very good reason, and that reason is I don't have one, which is good news for the ladies, I suppose. I am still available. A heck of a catch, because let, well, let's look at it. I live in Slough, in a lovely house with my parents. <laughs> I have my own room, which I've had since since I was born. That's seen a lot of action, I tell you. Mainly dusting, but uh, I went to university for a year as well before I dropped out. So I'm a quitter. So yeah, form an orderly queue, ladies. Look at him though. <laughs> what a catch. I like that. Uh, form yeah. an orderly queue, please. There mm -hmm. it is. In 
Right. I've been on safari and I've never seen anything <laughs> like that. That is preposterous. <laughs> I've got nothing for. No, I don't. <laughs> well, don't do that. that good. <laughs> Number of haircuts. Is that a valid thing? Are you one? Are you getting mullered? Not really. Right. You've spilled some on your. Yeah, I know I have. Right. Okay. Should we carry on with the game, please? I want to carry on. I wish you would. <laughs> Shit. Have... But if they want to pay me that for 15 minutes' work, that is their prerogative. So I'm not. Oh, sorry. Chris Finch. <laughs> Finchy! Alright? Go on. What's the difference between a fox and a dog? Go on. <laughs> About eight points of lager. <laughs> it's party time. <laughs> eight pints of lager. Let's <sighs> say, man. That's how we math. That's good. Yeah, that's uh, bar math or yep. uh, uh, pub mats. But that's that's just a Tuesday for y'all. <laughs> Time here, mate. You coming in? Why not? Because I'm already here, you fucking Chris Finch, Chris Finch. <laughs> here he is. Neil, very good friend, Chris Finch. Yeah, I know, Chris. Yeah. Nick saw my jokes. I do not nick him, I borrow him. <laughs> hey, is that at least moved up there? No, she left. Uh, she's looking for a job. Oh. Well, if it's a blowjob, I can help her. <laughs> <laughs> not that desperate for money. <laughs> Tell her I'll take her up the doll office. Eh? Doll orifice. <laughs> <laughs> Rubbish. Well, I've got a vacancy she can fill. Uh, uh, <laughs> it's work. <laughs> Don't try and... <laughs> cheers, 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 cheers to me yet. Yeah. If you like top trumps, you should come to me. I've got about five different sets. Don't try and beat me on monster trucks, though, because you won't. My speciality. He wants to give me a chance, though, innit? But you... It's not. I would know what cards you got immediately, just through which cards I got. I used to play it just by myself, with a dummy hand, for just testing out every different scenario, which cards beat which other cards, for hours sometimes, three or four hours at a time. But putting the work through the are obvious. Intense. So I know exactly what cards you got in your hand from what cards I got. And I would know probability wise exactly what feature to pick on my card to defeat statistically ah. any card that you could have in your hand at that precise moment. Oh. You will never win. <laughs> It'll be fun then. Just what alien school did he come from, dude? Just knowing people like that in, in high school, I just. But they have great careers now, so I can't really give them too much crap. They usually do. And you know what? It's people like this that make it into the office scenario. And it's just, it's, but you're right. I know people like this that are top dogs where they are. <laughs> so fun. Anyway. So... Do you know what I'm getting for? What they're paying me for this? No. Bill? Right. 15 minutes work, 300 quid. So, yeah, 1200 quid you know, an hour. You do the math. Yeah. So, It'd be 1200 quid an hour. So, uh, that's a sort of. Can I have a birthday gift, please? Oh, certainly you can. Yeah. <laughs> what? All right, no tongues. <laughs> and Brent doesn't oh, get one. That's, that's good, isn't it? She didn't ask me. Out of respect. Knows I'd say no. It's good. It didn't cross a boundary, and that's. That's. Good girl. What? I'm about to say, you sure about that? You don't look like it's a good thing. Well, all right. Mm -hmm. Again, another thing that wouldn't happen in U in U.S. offices, in addition to the alcohol, mm. that wouldn't happen. Nope. Guys, listen, we just don't have fun here. There yeah. are some offices, the unicorns of workplaces, that yeah. that will have fun. They're all friends. They're all awesome. But this is – it doesn't happen here like this. No. Oh. And I guess the lesson here is if we want to have a fun office job, move to the UK. Because if this is just shared from what you guys are saying, if this is a shared experience, then we need to get some office jobs over there, man. This place. No, that's a good idea. I always do it from behind if I don't like the face. Do you like bastards? You like my face, don't you, love? I love your face. I think you're beautiful. Hey, well, you can still do it from behind, anyway. Ooh, I'll bet that in mind. I'll do it from behind if you want. Oh, my Just God. Oh. That's really sweet. Why didn't you put that in an email to me? <laughs> what? Just so creepy. Oh, dude. I'll, oh, he's awesome. He has no shame of shooting his shot. Period. No. And that is no. that is that is commendable. You gotta yeah. shoot your shot. And he doesn't play games. He doesn't fluff around. He's very straightforward. For better yeah. and for mostly worse. For uh, mainly worse. <laughs> Kiss, two kiss, three kiss, four, yeah, five kiss, seven kiss, eight kiss, four. Birthday girl. Oh, hello. Oh, you're right. Just gonna have a good. Oh, just gonna have a quick word. 
I've seen you. I know it's your birthday and you're, you're flirting with everyone and you're mucking around. I know you wouldn't take it any further. Oh, I would. Oh, why not? It's all cool. Well, I'm yeah, just having so. a laugh, aren't I? Yeah, you are. It's just that I don't know what you're after. A man hang like a shire horse. Oh, <laughs> big, aren't they? Big, magnificent <laughs> animals. But I'm just, say what you mean, don't you? <laughs> Mm -hmm. oh, I'm just not sure you're going to find what you're after. Well, uh, see, I'd ask you, but you're a bit old, really. Uh, uh, Born in the 30s. Yeah. You've let yourself go a bit, don't you? I've let myself go a bit. Yeah. Let, let it yourself. You're an embarrassment, though. <laughs> so, uh, uh, David Brent is the epitome of someone that, on a dating app, or, or get, would get rejected in a bar, and once rejected says, whatever, you're ugly anyway. Yep. That's him. That's his game. That's the type of person David Brent is. Oh, God. And yes, we understand it. We just were verbal processors. Give us a break. Yes. Huh. Very true. What? No, I it's a bull rag. No, no raw rags. Oh, so, because yeah. if you keep on eating raw rags, it makes oh. you run years. But oh. at the same time, it allows you to do as, as many reps as you want. Because it's a... So, uh, how's the old car business? Yeah. With the car, isn't it? Yeah. All right, of course. And some good tunes. Didn't like that one, though. <clears throat> No. Who's that? Oh, not into pop music, I suppose. Well, I prefer R&B, I think. So who wrote, who wrote that? Fleetwood Mac, and I prefer their version as well. Yeah. Yeah, well, I uh, you know who I'd rather wake up with. Oh, <laughs> sexist, Neil. I can play my instrument any day. Eh? Oh, bawdy. I don't think you pull women like the cause with that sort of attitude, Chris. So. <laughs> well, I don't know what you're laughing, because I'm a dark horse, so you don't... You, <laughs> you could get anyone like the cause. Yeah, what? Well, I, just because I don't kiss and tell doesn't mean I don't get... <laughs> you don't normally kiss, so you've got nothing to tell. <laughs> no, give me an end up with the brother. <laughs> no, I, no, I wouldn't. No, I'd push the brother out of the room, I'd get the other three, and I'd bend them all over, and I'd do the drummer, the lead singer, and that one who plays violin. Wow! Oh, see? Your fault, putting filth in people's minds. <laughs> oh, God! Ain't no way! So what becomes of you, my love, when they have finally stripped you off? The handbags and the glad racks that your granddad had to sweat so you could buy. What the? What? Oh, my knees hurt. Nearly done. Of course. Of course it would. Right by the dumpster. <laughs> well, there you go. There you have it. Wow. That's a party right there, dude. Right, yep, that's yep, a that's a party. That's if office parties in the U.S. were like that, we wouldn't talk shit so much about the U.S. office experience. Yeah, very true. Man, that is, that's a whole bunch, that's a whole episode of just being, saying the wrong thing at the wrong time. And being yeah. at the, just... Oh my god, that dude is so weird. So stalkerish. Which oh, one, Gareth? Just so weird. I oh, think man. I know which character he inspired in the US office. Yes. Dwight. hundred yeah. percent. Oh god. Man, whatever. This was great. Yeah, I like this yeah. one a lot. <laughs> it's one of those it's gonna be over way too quickly. But luckily we have Christmas special documentaries to hold us over a little oh, bit yeah. until we get to the next thing, which uh, I think some of y'all know what the next thing is, but we're getting ahead of ourselves. We're yep. stay on the office right now. Yep. But thank you for watching. Thank you for Patreon, thank you for your patronage. YouTube, consider subscribing and watching another video. Yes. What else, Dan to man? Unplug and do something legendary, guys. See y'all next time. Later. <laughs>